Okay, what we have here is an experiment based on Donald Smith's work. He had a conference he was talking about the capacitor being a blocking device and a uh, way to suck in the uh, ambient background. What we uh, have right here is a two uh, foot by two foot uh, 20 gauge steel capacitor separated with two thin garbage bags. Uh, 7.8 nanofarads capacitance and it's got a spark gap going on the light here I'm take the light off and you see the light is on and the light is touching you have to have a spark gap here to get it to work okay that's spark gap number one spark gap number two is this one right over here and what that's doing is firing up a basically a backwards uh, Tesla coil. We've got 76 turns on the red wire. Uh, that's the primary and inside we have uh, 33 uh, microfarads uh, of microwave oven capacitors, three of them in series fit for 6,000 volts. And we've got uh, uh, we got the green wire here is that's four turns so 76 down to four turns up the amperage if anything uh, and it's that's all in parallel. Primary sec uh, primary capacitor and a spark gap are all in parallel. Then we have an impedance matching capacitor over here to match the uh, impedance of the uh, the microwave or a uh, neon transformer, 12 kilovolts. That's a spec on it. So that's in series with this parallel circuit here, and it's being run by a uh, So Variac, the power supply we built, does AC half wave and full uh, DC. And then this is a uh, isolation transformer. So we're isolated from the uh, utilities. Ground is not hooked up. It's hooked up on here, but it's not hooked up on here. So we're just going to, uh, what is that, one, uh, what, one, 110, 15 uh, AC right into the neon. And it's uh, drawing energy from, uh, this is this is connected to the ground, by the way. That goes to the uh, earth ground out here into a 50-foot uh, cord that's into a, uh, a ground rod, copper ground rod. And I'm going to take off. There's running there. It's not running. It's running here. So what Donald Smith said was, since a capacitor is a blocking device for DC, uh, basically AC does not go straight through a capacitor. It takes uh, electrons from one side, puts on the other side, makes one side deficient. And if it's alternating, then it's doing it back and forth constantly. If it's DC, it takes electrons from one side, puts it on the other side through the circuit itself. But the electrons do not actually travel through the capacitor because it's got insulated between two, the metal plates. So you see what you're doing, you're actually sucking energy from the ground here, from ambient. We wanted to, Now what he's doing, he uses a, about a one foot copper plate for the uh, for the ex 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 excitation side and then the ground side is actually an aluminum plate. Same thing he used on one of his other uh, plasma generators, he put a hole in the middle of these two plates that are insulated from each other which are basically capacitors and they run the plasma tube through the center of them so apparently there's something going on with a copper and an aluminum capacitor I tried two steel plates we got aluminum is actually making contact with the steel plate it's under here we got some magnets pulling them together but we wanted to see if uh, since we're exciting the magnetic field that this magnetic capacitor which is made out of steel had uh, any improvements so the next step we'll probably try it on a capacitor made out of copper and aluminum see if that does anything. So whether it's sucking anything free energy here, I don't know about that, but it is sucking energy from the ground, as you can witness here. So there you have it.